Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Samar Ajawi. The Information Minister, Mr. Ali bin Mohammed al he stressed that the world is suffering from the misuse of social media networks in light of an inflow of inaccurate information into the virtual world and the abuse that is alien to the communities. Patronizing the launch of Say Good campaign, he asserted that facing social media networks abuse is a social responsibility that has to be shouldered by all without exception by adopting a moderate discourse. The information minister pointed out that Bahrain possesses stories of success that confirm the effectiveness of using social media networks to promote goodness, tolerance and peace. He thanked the Bahraini youth for their active participation in the national drive which is adopted by the information ministry to raise awareness of the repercussions of cyberbullying. It is noteworthy that the campaign aims to uh, sensitize people to the importance of the word on individual and the society. It's also important part of the information ministry's responsibility as a main national media platform to raise awareness and promote good practices that serve the community, especially amid the rising number of bullying cases and the spread of rumors. We merge the technology with the performance to, set, to deliver uh, the message for all the audience about the very important uh, case that we face it, uh, in our society. Um, today's event comes in a very significant time. Uh, Everybody is using, using social media, everybody is talking. And uh, you know, the bad talks can convert to bad things and affect people's social life, destroy their confidence. Therefore, uh, the event today guides people to um, talk in positive manner, to uh, share positivity because yani, Bahraini because Bahraini cultures uh, mix of uh, peace, mix of joyness, happiness, and uh, Ministry of Information Affairs want to deliver that this message specifically to the people who are coming here to the avenues mall. The importance of this event is extremely important because of the topic of the cyberbullying and how hard it affects the. Um, psychology of the people and how people get, get, get affected and they might get in a depression or, or other cases. So we have many cases and we have many st statistics that prove that um, this case or cyberbullying clearly and totally affects people on social media. Um, in addition to that, the social media these days has a really high credibility to how people can believe somebody with no username, no credibility, he's maybe a fake account, and he has a really high credibility, then maybe press. So this event is, is to aware people what is the difference between a cyber bullier and how to defend them, themselves from him and how to um, use the political rules to help, him, to help them also to do this. <laughs> Capital Governor Hisham bin Abdurrahman Al Khalifa inaugurated yesterday Bahrain for All Festival 2020 in its ninth edition, which highlights every year peace, diversity, coexistence, and harmony enjoyed in the kingdom. More details in this report with Hiba Abdul Ghaffar. Held under the theme Leaving Nobody Behind, the ninth edition of Bahrain for All kicked off, bringing together more than 47 local and expatriate communities to showcase their respective cultures. The role of Bahrain for All is to show our um, unity in our diversity, and that diversity being um, whatever culture you come from, whatever faith, or whatever ability that you may have. So it's just bringing all the different communities together, get them engaged, and show that actually we're all the same. The Ministry of Interior this year celebrating 100 years of Bahraini police has offered its popular police band as well as a horse parade. The event gives Bahrain's communities the opportunity to learn about each other's customs and traditions, sample each other's cuisines, and watch performances by the Indian, Pakistani, Sri Lankan, Nepali, Filipino, Sudanese, Ethiopian, Tunisian, Egyptian, Dodanian, Thai, Indonesian, and Malaysian communities, among many others, highlighting what makes each of them unique that uh, I meet the Bahrain people here and then most of them when we know that they are Thai they love our culture our food 
and we are proud that uh, we have to be participate in this event because we can show our Thainess, our culture, our beautiful country, everything about our Thailand to the Bahrain. Very happy here actually to have diversity that uh, uh, need by the uh, expatriate, especially Indonesian. And once again, of course, we are, you know, we feel at home once again. And uh, Indonesia is very happy living in Bahrain. Bahrain is very hospitable. Uh, people are wonderful. They are uh, modest and uh, they welcome everybody. They are very tolerant. And this is very important. The Philippines has participated in this event through so many years. Every year it's getting bigger and better and more organized, more participants. And it just goes to show how everyone is included. It's a very inclusive community. We, as I represent the Filipino community, we feel that we are at home here. This is our second home. It also supports local entrepreneurs with market stalls dedicated to Bahraini businesses and productive families, children with special needs, women's groups and senior citizen societies to promote the festival's message of inclusion for all. Good platform today we celebrate uh, for Bahrain now and here we're showing uh, some uh, things, uh, newspaper, stamps, uh, so we can show the other foreigner people to be aware of these things, uh, Bahraini things. Bahrain for All is a celebration of the kingdom being a melting pot for different civilizations. Its desire to create a society in which all people live in peace and dignity, no matter of their religions, origins, beliefs or backgrounds. For the ninth year, Bahrain for All and All for Bahrain celebrates with different communities, religions, ethnicities and nationalities the unity, diversity and harmony in Bahrain. Heba Abdel Ghaffar, Bahrain International. The King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence organized a dinner banquet in Washington in the presence of a group of religious leaders, diplomats, heads of organizations, academies and entities specialized in coexistence and religious tolerance to celebrate the efforts made by the center in this field. The event was in cooperation with various authorities who emphasized their strong interest and follow-up for the activities and goals of the center. The attendees expressed their desire to organize joint efforts and programs and sign memorandums of understandings with the center to serve those endeavors that aim to exchange experiences. The chairman of the board of the King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence, Dr. Sheikh Khaled bin Khalifa Al Khalifa affirmed that the center continues to make every possible effort in order to highlight the Bahraini model in peaceful coexistence. He expressed his thanks and appreciation to the representatives of those entities for their interest in the success of the center's projects. Assistant U.S. Vice President Thomas Ross extended his regards to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and to the King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence. The president of the Adams Islamic Center in Washington, Imam Majid, praised Bahrain's experience in promoting the principles of tolerance and peaceful coexistence. Rabbi Ibrahim Cooper of the Simon Wissenthal Center said that Bahrain established a positive structure for all, all its neighbors with its unique forgiving history. King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence is taking a leadership role at bringing leaders of all faiths together. Uh, because I mean, it, it's very important in the world right now to build bridges and get bring you know pull faiths to, together, bring faith leaders together, bring faith communities together, and get them talking together on a regular basis. Get them working together on a regular basis so that we can increase social cohesion so that the, like the worst of religion is fueling conflict of war if we have to, and the King Hamad Global Center is helping bring faith communities together and so that we start building bridges across the, the, the faith communities despite our deepest differences so that we can uh, you know again build greater social cohesion which will increase security and stability in the world which will open the door to greater economic development and economic prosperity. It was wonderful to visit Bahrain uh, as part of my work for uh, the Foreign Secretary and on behalf of the Bishop of Truro um, I spent a very happy two days um, hearing all about uh, the work 
that His Majesty has begun and uh, the work on peaceful coexistence which is so important. It was so encouraging to come to uh, Bahrain to hear about the fantastic work uh, on peaceful coexistence and uh, the support of the Christian communities in Bahrain and furthermore the work in developing peaceful coexistence not only in the region but all around the world. So we're so grateful for His Majesty's lead on this.